Okay, now I'm back. I've actually sewed together the key mark. I'm going to put it on the wrong side out so you can see what our next step is going to be. If you are not making a tie back key mark, you could go ahead. This is how you put it on. You can go ahead and stop right here. And you'll be done. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can bring the uh, camera out some so you guys can see what it actually looks like. Um, actually, no. What I'm going to have to do is stop the recording and go stand back farther so you guys can see what it looks like totally. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm back. The next thing we're going to do, if you are actually wanting to be, not make a tie back kimar, you come here, you sew it up here, all the way down to the bottom, you hem this bottom piece right here. You can easily, it's going to take a lot of pins. You're going to turn it one time and then turn it again a second time. Turn it one time a quarter of an inch. Turn it again another quarter of an inch. Use a lot of pins. Or if you have a rolled hem foot, you can use your rolled hem foot. Hem it all the way around. Hem the face the same way. And you're done. Or you could do the old school way. Like um, I do my circle skirts and how I also do these sometimes. You can use what is called a um, hem tape or a gross grain ribbon, not the hem tape that you iron in. Use the sew-in hem tape, or you can use a gross grain ribbon. Sew it all the way around the front, and then you're going to iron it over the other way to the back, and then sew again, and you're done. I'll actually show you how to do that on another video, because this one's quite long. If you're going to make the tie back key mark, what you're going to do is start right here on the side of your temple, right where your scarf is right here, your head scarf would be. You're going to start there and you're going to measure up and all the way around to the other side. And my measurement is 8 inches, which is the average is 8 inches, is what I use between 6 and 8 inches. And the next thing you're going to do is take your measuring tape here and around and under your hair bun. Not over it, but under it. Because when you tie it up, you're going to bring the ties under the hair bun. And my measurement actually was, oh, I didn't get to see what it was. Let me do that again. My measurement is actually 26. I'm going to go ahead and make it 28. And what you're going to do, again, is you're going to take your this top part of the key mark and measure down to the top part of your hair scarf. And you're going to take that measurement too. And this one was 3 inches. So what you're going to do is take the 3 inches, multiply that by 2, bring it to 6 inches. Add 1 inch for the seam allowance, since we're going to do a half inch on the front. I'm sorry, a half inch of seam allowance on both sides. And you're going to um, make the length, so I'm going to use 28 inches. We're going to make the length 28 inches and plus one more inch for seam allowance, which will be 29 inches. And I'll show you what to do next when I cut that out. I'm going to actually show you on this key mark because the other one was nowhere near as cut to scale. And yeah, it would just be better, easier for me to show you how to make that headband on this one. Let me go cut that out. It's going to be a rectangle. This way about 29 inches long, 6 inches wide. And I'm going to cut it, show you how to taper the ties. That is the secret between making it um, custom to fit and so you don't have that little pucker on the side and pucker right here you want to taper the ties a bit and I'll show you how to do that when I come back as well 
Okay, I'm back. Now, this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make the tie back for the top of the key mark. And when we did the measurements before, we said we were going to be using 29 inches. I changed my mind on this one. I'm going to go ahead and do 32. And the reason is because I have a pattern on this. And I need to match the pattern, <coughs> have extra fabric to match the pattern to the top of the kimara. You don't want your patterns to be off. That is the difference between someone looking at your garment and saying, oh, that's a beautiful garment, and saying, oh, what did they find that at? It's kind of cheaply made. Matching the patterns is a difference. We want our things to look handmade, not homemade. So I'm going to show you how to do this if this was a solid piece, and I'm going to show you how to do this if this was a, a um, pattern piece like we have now. So this is the way you do it if it was a solid piece. You're going to find the middle of the fabric, fold it in half. And remember we said that from one side of our headscarf to the other side of our underscarf was um, eight inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark off four inches. And again, guys, this is not 29 inches of fabric. I'm using a scrap piece of fabric so I can get the whole thing on the video because I'm kind of crunched for space at the moment. You get my marking utensil. I'm going to go ahead and mark which should be four inches from the middle, the center, all the way to the side. And we're going to put a pin right there. And the reason why we're putting the pin right there is because that is where we're going to stop sewing. We're going to sew from one side. I'm sorry, we need to put a pin on both sides. But I'm going to do a pin for one side for now. The next thing we're going to do is mark down an inch away from that. And where this inch is, we're going to start our taper of our fabric. So the next thing you want to do is take this fabric. You already have it folded in half this way, widthwise. Now we're going to fold it in half lengthwise because we're going to go ahead and make a taper. The reason why we're doing this is it will conform to your head better and not have any gaps if your if your um, ties are tapered a bit. So we're going to start here and we're going to taper it down to here. I want to take maybe a half an inch off. So I'm going to mark it now. And you're folding it in half because you only want one side tapered. You don't want both sides. You want the side close to your face and taper. And I'm going to go ahead and put my pins in. Thank you, Beauty. Beauty just needs to be in the video for some reason, so she's handing me pins so she can get a chance to be on camera. Thank you, Beauty. And I put my pins in. Now I'm going to cut the taper and I'm using a pretty silky fabric and when you use silky fabric and knits and things like that you want to use the right kind of straight pins for that fabric there is um, a, such a straight pin called a silk pin and that's what you want to use on your silky fabrics Otherwise, you will leave marks and holes in the fabric when you take the pins out, and that's not going to look good. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is you take your pins out, unfold it, fold it like, open it up, and you see this mark to this mark is where you're going to sew the top part of the key mark to the, top, to the um, tie back. So you want to open it this way, fold it, with the insides, the pretty side and the inside, you're going to put a pin here on the um, first mark, and you're going to put a pin on the other side. And what you're going to do now 
is you're going to sew from this um, one inch mark because we remember we put the um, for the eight inches right here and then we went over an inch you're going to sew from this one inch mark all the way around you're going to sew here you might want to taper that all the way to the end whatever you want to do or you want to leave the square however you want to do it so all the way around here come on this side so all the way around here leave this part open because this is the part we're going to turn over to the right side and sew to the front of the commuter. Okay. We're going to, well actually let me put some, no I'm not. You're going to sew it, turn it through that opening, push all the ends out, and sew that to the front side of the commuter. When you have a pattern, what you want to do is find the middle of the tie, this is the actual commuter, the middle of the tie, and you need to match the pattern pieces together. So it doesn't look bad. Look, you see that it goes how I match that? That's a continuous flow from the pattern. This is the tie back, this is the actual kumar. And when it sew together, it'll look like this. You want to match it as much as possible. And then after you match it, no, I'm not going to take the needles out. After you match it and you pin it up, you're going to go ahead and um, with the pretty side in, just like you did the other one, you already have it pinned to the Kamara though. Make sure you realize that. You're going to pin this all the way down and you're going to taper it like we did the other. So I'm going to pin it down, I'm going to taper it, cut the taper in, I'm going to start an inch away. I'm going to start and go over there with your project, okay? Because I don't want you to accidentally cut my stuff. I'm going to start, this is the Kamar where it meets the tie back. I'm going to go an inch away. I'm going to mark it here. I'm going to taper my tie back. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. But I'm not going to sew it. Well, actually, you could sew it and flip it in, but we're not going to do that. We're, what we're going to do, after I taper it, I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do because it's going to be too much time to do it on camera. I'm going to turn around, <coughs> sew from one pin to the next, from that eight inches that I marked, and then I'm going to go ahead, flip it over, the, right, the wrong side, touching the wrong side, the right side out. I'm going to fold the hem in like this. And I'm going to match the pattern as much as I can. And then I'm going to take my sewing machine and fold the hem in there. And then I'm going to pin here, all the way down to here. And I'm also going to, when I hem it, I'm going to put that in like that. Fold it in, pull this in, and pull this in, match it up, and I'm going to start at one end, start right here, sew down, sew all the way around, and sew here on a top stitch, and then it's complete. So let me go ahead and complete it. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put it on. If you don't know how to put it on, I'm pretty sure if you're making one of these, you more than likely know how to put it on. But there are people out there who are, there are people, oh, sorry about that. There are people out there who are new to making um, Kimars and new to wearing them. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it on. And the video will be done.